we begin with new and cautiously optimistic projections on how COVID-19 is spreading in Canada. The Prime Minister says we are now well past the worst of this pandemic. That means plans to reopen our country are coming together. But as CTV's Penny Daflos reports, that doesn't mean we'll be returning to normal anytime soon. Our communities have transformed dramatically as we avoid public places, prevent spreading our germs and physically distance. Now, experts say is proof those measures are having a tremendous impact on the spread of COVID-19. Last time I presented this graph to you, Canada's confirmed case count was doubling every three to five days. At this time, the number of cases is doubling at a rate of every 16 days. The number of deaths is much higher than initially forecast due to the virus spreading in care homes. But the curve has bent enough that the Prime Minister and Premiers made a joint statement on relaxing restrictions. Restarting our economy will be gradual and careful and will be guided by science. A move that comes with a slew of caveats, including... There must be enough capacity to test and trace COVID-19 to control any new spread. Relaxing controls too quickly will squander our collective efforts to date and put us at risk of future epidemic waves. The actions we have taken have significant social, financial, emotional and health impacts on all of us. And we have been trying to use the data and the science that we have to find that delicate balance of making sure we have just enough restriction that we can control this virus, but enough that we can continue to function as a community. Other jurisdictions are making announcements this week to reopen businesses that were never closed in BC because of our nuanced response. Health officials say the Premier will make the announcement in the coming days about exactly how and when restrictions will start loosening, but do expect some measures to remain in place until there's a vaccine a year or more from now. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.